Are you interested in investing NFT games? Not sure what the risks are? Well, sit back and relax as I share my insights about these topics. What's up, everybody in the metaverse? I appreciate you coming by. I'm your guy, Metaverse J, and I make the metaverse simple for everyone to understand. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the things on Meta. Let's get into the Meta. First up in our list of potential NFT games you can invest to but have the risk of investing is Sandbox. What is the Sandbox Metaverse? The Sandbox is a virtual world made up of monetized plots of lands, which allows users to monetize their creations as part of a multiplayer metaverse. Like a cross between The Sims and Minecraft, the platform allows users to purchase areas of virtual land to develop and then sell them for crypto. The land parcels are represented as NFTs, unique monetized digital assets based on the Ethereum blockchain, which provides a foundation for in-game economy and the exchange of tangible cash. It also allows users to invite their friends and to participate in virtual activities together, such as attending concerts and parties. Where there is reward comes also risk involved. Like this incident reported by The Sun, sandbox metaverse hackers are stealing virtual property for tens of thousands of dollars. The frustrating real present of metaverse technology is spreading, branching into multiple worlds. Out of the ever-increasing selection, one remained the most popular. Sandbox Metaverse. Attracting the likes of Snoop Dogg and Adidas, Sandbox Metaverse is certainly the most profitable of the new virtual worlds. Additionally, the social platform has seen massive sales of ugly NFT yachts and fake property. None of it is safe. Sandbox Metaverse has a massive property theft, which users are reporting it through social media as a means to help others to be aware. Sandbox Virtual Property has seen a surge in crime as the value of fake land increases. Metaverse hackers are already popping up to seize ownership for themselves. Who needs to pay thousands when you can just steal property from others? Recently, one sandbox Metaverse player was robbed of his virtual land. After his property was stolen, the player took to Reddit to complain. On the OpenSea subreddit, the user explained that his land has been taken from him overnight. The user also stated upon looking further into the details, my land that I purchased was transferred to another account it is unknown to me for zero dollars. I have followed the trail and my parcel of land has been transferred to two, three different accounts since it was stolen. The stolen piece of land was first purchased for around $10,000. However, once stolen, the property was put on sale for around $23,000. As for the victim, it left a massive impact on his view of cryptocurrency and the metaverse. The user's Twitter thread revealed that they were not alone in having their virtual property stolen. In response, multiple commenters revealed that their asset has also been stolen. One user noted that sandbox lands are being stolen within minutes of users buying them. Other users explained that the sandbox isn't the only metaverse being targeted, so is Decentraland. As these assets are supposed to be decentralized, there's not much what sandbox, OpenSea, or MetaMask can do. For example, if a single force takes action to restore assets to the rightful owner, that platform is no longer decentralized. As it stands, metaverse hacking is still going strong. On one hand, it is starting to wither away as more individuals trust the cryptocurrency. On the other hand, it's making hackers very wealthy. This image shows the activity during the attack the user suffered. He said the victim before him also lost 10 lands within minutes. They also locked their account indicating compromise. Many sandbox landowners have been hacked thus far. Some of them have locked their accounts to mark that they have been compromised. 
when me and my team started investigating on December 14, 2021, there were about eight such accounts. And the compromised accounts at that time were as far back as two, two weeks prior to the day of the attack. Tips to protect yourself who have NFTs on OpenSea and to avoid getting scammed. Move your NFTs to a hard wallet. Be suspicious of any pop-ups anywhere on your browser. Be careful of NFT airdrops. Be careful of art NFT transfers from unknown resources. Enter your personal info for soft wallet in the browser, extensions only. Do not download promotional items they can obtain mal malware. Be careful when you search Google. The sandbox address is here and nothing else. Hacks takes place when you least expect them. This hack may take place on a fake website and it looks identical to Sandbox. Check your URL. The fake website has the E and the N swapped around. What is Decentraland? Decentraland is a virtual reality platform that exists on the blockchain of Ethereum. It allows users to experience, create, and monetize contents and applications. To put it simply, Decentraland permits users to buy virtual property, develop the property like creating an estate in the real world, and maintain it as an online business. In 2019, after two years of numerous tests were carried out, the virtual world of Decentraland launched its closed beta. Owning up to quality, Instead of making rash decisions, the founders waited for months to pass. They finally opened Decentraland to the general public in February of 2020. What are the benefits on investing in Decentraland? Decentraland is among the major players in the virtual reality world. Decentraland is a major decentralized finance application that is categorized under non-fungible tokens because of its involvement in the realm of virtual reality. Decentraland is among the major platform developers patronized when they have ideals on the creation of 3D screens, games, and application developers can utilize features such as object creation, sound development, and physics to embark on an innovative journey. This is the primary reason why Decentraland ranks third in the market valuation of crypto trading assets to fall under an NFT token banner. Decentraland also holds one of the largest land sales. On February 18th of June 2021, a virtual land in Decentraland sold for nearly almost a million dollars. The virtual property developers spent this money on 259 parcels. This saw the intangible property command the average price of a house in Brooklyn, New York. The transaction took 1.2 million from total supply of mana, confidence of the largest digital asset management firm. On Wednesday, 17 March of 2021, Grayscale Investment announced that it has launched five new digital currency investments trusts including Decentraland. This led to the creation of Grayscale Decentraland Trust. In the space of eight months after setting up Trust, Grayscale had 54 million of mana assets under management. As Grayscale continues to hold mana, which did well to resist the May and June lows of 2021, digital coin price believes upgrades and partnerships could result in more institutional investments. Great rewards also come with greater risks involved. The platform is still in its early development phase. When Decentraland was released to the general public in February 2020, the coronavirus pandemic reached its peak in March and April of the same year. This saw a decline in digital currencies and decentralized finance since a lot of investors joined in a massive selling that crashed the cryptocurrency market to all new all-time lows. It would need time to adapt to the needs and demands on the market. The general public do not understand the entirety of NFTs and its concept. Why don't people understand NFTs? One reason that people are put off of NFTs is that many of them are caught up in scams. Also, one of the requirements for NFTs is that they are brought up with a form of digital money known as cryptocurrency. Why does this matter? Because like cryptocurrencies, all NFTs have to be documented or minted, something known as the blockchain. The blockchain exists 
on a network of computers and store all information regarding different forms of cryptocurrencies and every transaction is made up in crypto. It is extremely difficult to hack into a network and make changes regarding information, which is why it's considered more secure than traditional money. When somebody creates an NFT and records it on the blockchain, the file is given known as a public key. Like a signature on a painting, it is meant to show that it's authentic and created by a specific individual instead of a copycat. If the NFT is bought by somebody else, the public key is still there. But the new owner has a private key that they can use to verify that they bought it, much like a receipt. Infinite competition in the NFT space. Major players such as Axie Infinity, Chili's, and Engine Coin continue to dominate the market. Chili's had a trading volume of 800 billion. Engine had a trading volume of 1 billion. And Axie's had a trading volume of 1 million. As per information retrieved from that radar on NFT collections, Axie Infinity had recorded a platform volume of 27 million in the last 24 hours. It had 67,944 traders, 100,000 in sales. This could be compared with Decentraland, who at the same time had recorded a platform volume of zero and has been seen to have only 59 traders and it just sold 128 items. Other risks include digital assets such as mana are the same as mainstream cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin and Ethereum. They are highly volatile and can result in the loss of your funds within a short period of time. Risk what you can afford to lose. Diversifying your portfolio among less volatile and high volatile digital assets can go a long way to help you balance gains and losses. Safety tips for investing in Decentraland. You should do some due diligence when investing in the metaverse. It's such an early ecosystem and most are under 1 billion in market cap and they are very volatile so it requires a lot of research. One important metric investors should look at is community building. So the easiest way to look at it is how the game is doing on social media especially on YouTube and Twitter where players interact with game developers and content creators the most. That Decentraland does a really good job with the community building by hosting, creating contests to encourage the community to create Decentraland content. Gaming videos and live streams are a crucial way to bring new players into the game. Axie Infinity is a digital pet community where players can sell their in-game characters for real money using the Ethereum blockchain. Players can breed their Axies to discover exciting new combinations. Axies start off as eggs and require love and attention from their owners to grow up. Take care of your Axies and earn experience points by completing daily activities. Use experience points to level up your axes and unlock new abilities which can be used in battle. You can even trade your axes for cryptocurrency on our marketplace. Find out more on axieinfinity.com. Available now. Let's start with understanding and knowing what Axie Infinity is. According to Axie Infinity's white paper, Axie Infinity is a Pokemon-inspired universe allowing anyone to earn tokens through skilled gameplay and contribution to the ecosystem. Players can battle, collect, raise, build a land-based kingdom for their pets as well. Users can earn Axie Infinity Shard Tokens and other in-game tokens, Smooth Love Potion SLPs. Each Axie is a cute and unique digital pet and non-fungible token that can be bought or sold. To participate in the game, a player must buy three Axies these three axes, you can be leveled up by playing the game's version of PvE, Adventure Mode. Adventure Mode has an SLP cap of how many SLP you can earn. By the time of making of this video, Axie Infinity Season 20 will have massive changes to the SLP earnings. When Season 20 comes, Adventure Mode SLP earnings will be gone and the only way to earn SLP will be in PvP mode, or as people call it, the arena. With the major changes in SLP, 
we will have a huge problem with the manager scholar system that Axie Infinity has. 50% of the daily SOP that scholars earn is in adventures. So how do people make money from this game? One of the many ways that Axie Infinity players make money is by lending out their pets to other players. As a scholar, they normally ask for 60 to 70% of the cut from earnings or depending on the agreement of the manager and scholars. But are there potential risks in investing in Axie Infinity? Most scholars cash out their earnings as a daily wage and this token are being used productively within the game. This means the in-game currency keeps on circulating in the crypto space. Just as inflation can creep up into a normal economy when cash is hoarded and there isn't enough economy activity, Axie Infinity is facing a similar trend. We need to remember that cryptocurrency is very volatile and you need to do research before investing. Never get caught in the hype. Research blockchain technology and most importantly, take the time to read the project's white paper. When investing in Axie Infinity, you want to be the manager. Look for scholars and make them do the work for you. It's like a passive income business. The problem with this is that you don't hold the scholars to grind the game for you every day. There may be chance that a scholar can leave you and you are left behind with the scholar's unfinished work and you will need to look for another one. This is one of the disadvantages for looking for a worthy scholar that will grind the game every day for you. With this in mind, people are getting anxious about the game's currency value. The risk is in, in the game's adoption and engagement. Investing in Axie Infinity is purchasing a share of the game's revenue. If players abandon the game, then there will be no revenue. If there is no revenue, your share of the revenue becomes worthless. Before investing in Axie Infinity, it is best to understand crypto gaming. Similar to other investments that require due diligence, it is an interesting and new segment of cryptocurrency industry. But entering this segment simply with the hope to see your money rise isn't the best approach. What exactly is Project Pegasi? Pegasi is a horse racing game with a futuristic mythology theme. Pega, the horses, are the offspring descendants of the legendary Pegasus. Players will compete in PvP model races to win prizes in the game. How to start playing Pegasi? To play Pegasi, you need a Pega. You can purchase Pega in the marketplace. If you don't have enough money yet, you can rent or apply for a scholarship. How much is the initial price of one Pega? At the public NFT sale, the price of Pega ranges from $100 to $600, depending on its class, gender, and stats. Let's talk about the gameplay. Pegasi Race Course is a pay-to-win PvP racing game which players compete for the top three spots among 11 other riders. Each race has random elemental variables such as wind, water, fire, speed, and more. Players must finish in the top three using strategy, food, and skill upgrades in order to earn the platform's utility token VIS Vigorous. Pre-race, this is where you adjust your Pegas gears. Because not all gears have positive effects, a balanced set of attributes is required to increase your chances of winning. Pega race, this is where you watch your Pega compete with other players. This is all based on chances so it's like gambling. Post race, is where the results you'll be shown. The top one to three players will get a reward or what they call Vigorous. Players who didn't make it to the top three will get distributed VIS. How does the scholarship work? Is it like Axie Infinity? The answer is no. Scholarships make it possible for players to rent a Pega. You could technically begin playing the game for free if you receive a scholarship. There are three scholarship types to choose from the Pegasi website. Fixed free renting, profit sharing, and direct rental. Escrow is used for all rentals. You also need at least one Pega to participate in the race. What is the profit sharing method and how does it work? The manager can use this option to list their Pega for rent on the official Pegasi rental marketplace. The manager determines the percentage split, for example, 60% to the Pega owner and 40% to the scholar. And the scholar accepts the agreement. All VIS and rewards earned by the Pega in-game will automatically split via the escrow system. 
In this scenario, there's no need for a communication between the manager and the scholar. What about fixed free renting? In a fixed free renting agreement, the renter will pay a set amount of PGX tokens. Example, 1000 PGX to use the PEGA for a set up period of time. In this type of agreement, the renter receives 100% of the earning over the course of the rental period. When the rental agreement expires, the renter will no longer be able to access the PEGA. Pegasi can be played on what device? Because they are focusing on mobile users, you can only play it on mobile right now. But the developers have stated that they will do something to allow computer users to play as well. What is their token? And what wallet do you need to use? VIS and PGX are their tokens. In Axie Infinity, VIS is similar to SLP, while PGX is similar to AIX. You must use a Polygon wallet on MetaMask. How do you make money in Pegasi? Join the race and be one of the top three players, or you can rent out your Pega to other players. You can also sell it on the market. The rarer the Pega, the higher the price. It is really necessary to have a high win rate. The fact that a Pega has a high win rate does not imply that the Pega is suitable for the race. Pegasi is an automatic game that we have no control over. Because we are not in a player control gameplay, even the Pega stats are not being used to their full potential. The effect of Pega stats is also dependent on the condition of the stadium, which is why we use gears to change some stats rather than rely on the win rate itself. There are also restrictions. It is not advisable to multi-tab so that you can race two Pega. One is to one only. You can connect four accounts on the same IP address and you can own an unlimited Pega in one account. Only three Pega can be alpha rental in one account. The question is, is Pegasi a scam? All NFT games have a high risk of not getting your money back. So invest only what you can afford to lose. If you know a lot about the market, you know what you will do. That's why it's important to do your own research first before investing. It is better than Axie Infinity. Pegasi is an automatic game, so you will only watch the race and wait for the results after. If you prefer a player-controlled gaming and strategy, I think Axie Infinity is better for you. There have been a lot of changes for Season 20 lately, so you might want to reconsider. But it's already on Pegasus white paper that the player controlled gaming is in development. So let's just wait for that. Did you enjoy the video? Have you learned something new? Why not smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell on your way out? Are you using Twitter? Go ahead and check out my Twitter account for some memes and hot takes. All of the links are in the description down below. Thank you as always for your time because the pleasure was mine. Until next time guys, see you in the meta.